This is the last time I'm going to do any asking. The next time I come to Singapore, I'll act. Now, don't get excited, Shark. We're not only willing, but we're anxious to pay you. That's right. We're not trying to hold out on you. No. No. Listen to me, you two. Six months ago, I loaned you $10,000 to open up this place. That's right. And don't think that what? I... That you don't appreciate it? We sure do. Yeah, so much so that you're just falling all over. You pay my notes. Good morning. Oh, don't hand me that. Now, wait a minute, Shark. We've had a lot of heavy expenses lately. Rot. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Next trip in from your plantation, bring both notes and we'll pay you off. Even if we have to sell out to do it. Hey, listen, you. Every time you chirp up like that, my right fist starts to itch. Someday I'm going to remodel your face by moving your nose around to the back of your head. You might find out a tough job. Yeah, I'm a pretty good nose mover. Please, please wait, Marty. I'm sorry, but not tonight, please. You must sing me. Definitely. I'm really very tired. Oh, please, Marty, now wait, please, will Some you? Some other time, please. Oh, Mr. Moran. Well, it looks like a gathering of the clan. So young Lockenbar has come out of the West. <laughs> Greetings, Lockenbar. <laughs> sorry, gentlemen, but... Thanks for rescuing me. <laughs> Say, do you have to put up with that sort of thing every night? Every night. Well, when a girl is as pretty as you are, you can't blame any man for trying. Thank you, kind sir. When did you come up from the island? Yesterday. Going back tonight. And you waited all this time to come by and see me? I'm sorry. I couldn't make it. I had to sell my copra and tend to a lot of other business. Well, in that case, I guess I'll have to forgive you. Oh, as if you cared. Well, you might at least sit down for a minute and tell me all about everything. Thanks. Say, Marty, I've got a much better idea than this. You get dressed and I'll see you home and... No, King Fu always sees me home. Oh. Yes, me by the God, everybody's safe. Yeah, everybody's always safe, all right. Oh, say, why is it all I ever see you is like this? About ten minutes every sixty days. Oh, I'm sorry. I like you immensely. Really, I do. But you know there's someone else. Yeah, well, I hope he falls overboard in the middle of a school of sharks. What shark, Moran? You're right. It's that dirty trick to wish indigestion on my namesakes. I'll make it swordfish. Yes? I think I forgot to say goodbye. I think you did. Well, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. There's Moran now. Hello, Mr. Moran. Well, Mr. Huggins. Well, this is indeed a pleasure. I've been looking high and low for you, sir. No, Mr. Huggins. Sure, the captain was getting a little excited, seeing how it's only two hours to saving time. Well, that's just time enough for you and I to have a nice little nip, Mr. Huggins. Thank you very much, sir. I have worked up quite a purse. Well, Mr. Huggins, come right along here. There's Shark Moran now. Shark Moran? I've always wanted to meet him. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, blimey. Just a minute, my friend. The women always go for me. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time and hey, you. You'll uh, pardon me, Mr. Huggins, but you're standing on my foot. I beg your pardon, Mr. Moran. Oh, it's quite all right, Mr. Huggins, quite all right. Say, listen, why don't you pick on somebody your size? Well, are you my size? I think so. Mr. Huggins? Yes? 
Watch my smoke. Uh, you'd better start getting up steam, sir. Why, it's practically up, Mr. Huggins. I'm sure of that. All right. What did he do, Mr. Moran? Why, he boldly and violently attacked Mr. Huggins. Come on out of here. Come on. Get out. Come on. Get out. Get out. Mr. Moran. We certainly put up a great fight, didn't we? Okay. I'll get even with Shark Moran if I have to stay here all night. He's got to come out of here sometime. Let's wait for him. Well, sir, here's your elf. Take her down, Mr. Hagen. Boy, that's good. Bad drop. Say, Mr. Moran, hmm? did I ever see Colonel Bumps? Colonel Bumps? Yes, it's really a delightful way of getting drunk, sir. Well, I'll try anything once. <laughs> now you're talking, sir, but remember, you have to do everything that I do. Now watch me. I think to you for the first time tonight, Colonel Bumps. I drink to you for the second time tonight, Colonel Bumps. <laughs> well, oh, no, just a minute. Here comes the difficult part. Oh, there's more to it yet, huh? Yes. I drink to you, Colonel Bump, for the last and third time tonight. Tonight, for the first time, Colonel Bumps. Wait a minute, that's wrong. <laughs> You've got three fingers on it. Oh. <laughs> I've got to show you this all over. Oh, boys, come here, I've made a mistake. Yes, no, no, you know. Oh, no, no, no. I think you're wrong. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, would you stand up? Play with this guy. All right, come on. Well, can you imagine that guy walking away from a lot of fun? Oh, shucks. You'd get away with something, did you? Uh, come on there, fella. Come on. Come on. Come on there, big boy. Let's go to town. You shouldn't have done that. Let's beat it. Pull me out of there? Well, what do you think? I never did much care for this dying business. What, afraid to die? Who, me? No, but there's a lot of liquor to drink in a... After all, life is pretty sweet. <laughs> oh. You did get a mighty nasty blow, all right? My head. Hey, to my friend. I'm a pretty good judge of human nature. What is it, a woman? No. Well, have it your way. But you know it'd be very foolish not to mention disagreeable to drown yourself in that dirty water. 
Well, who said anything about drowning himself? Well, I know you were thinking about it from the cynical way you said, and you're glad to be alive. Am I right? Well, what if you are? It's my life. Sure it is. But wouldn't she think a whole lot more of you if you didn't let her ruin it? Well, she did it. My name's Moran. What's yours? I didn't say. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it. That's just the way. Say, young fellow, I don't think I thanked you for saving my life. Oh, you thanked me. Oh, I know, but not properly. Seeing as how you're kind of down on your luck. Well, what's that got to do with your thanking me? I told you I didn't want to die. So what do I do? Well, I'll fight. Well, I go through life working a little, drinking a little, having one good time. So naturally, I can't understand anybody wanting to die. No? No. And there's another thing. You know, the minute you hit that water, you would naturally start to swim out. I regret very much I didn't let you stay in that water. Oh, <laughs> say, I've got a big plantation on one of the islands down the coast a ways. How about a job? All right, son. You asked for it. I asked for what? For this. my sore head. Oh, what in the name of Neptune have you got there? <laughs> Friend of mine got in the... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're not the only two that got wet. <laughs> See you later, Captain. idea. I'm just giving you a fresh crack at life. I thought Shanghai days were over. Listen, it's 1935, my friend. This is one of those years when anything might happen. Wrap yourself around that. Good luck, kid. little girl. Now, now run along. This is bad enough being marooned on this forsaken island without having her under my feet all the time. <laughs> oh, shut. She's a cute little thing. Now, maybe you'll like her. Say, uh, to throw everything away over a woman. She was in the show business. She had a lot of talent, charm. She was going places. We're making our plans for the future. My folks offered her money to call off the engagement. Oh? Well, of course, she didn't take it. The next thing I knew, she was on a boat sending to the Orient with a show. So you told your family to go plumb too and follow her, huh? Yeah. And you found her? I didn't. I located the show in Shanghai, but she deserted it, and I didn't know where she'd gone to. I thought I saw her in Hong Kong once. That's it. The night you picked me up, I just arrived in Singapore. You know, sometimes just being able to talk to someone helps a lot. That night you asked me if I was afraid to die. I'm not. But I want to get just as much fun as possible out of life. So I've noticed. <laughs> You'll run across there someday when you least expect it. Just like dying. In the meantime, hard work, money in the bank, keeping your mind occupied. Well, come on. I'll go and pick those books for you. That'll be fine. They certainly need a lot of attention, I can assure you of that.
You little heathen, will you get out of here? Mr. Bruce, Diana likes. Diana wants to play. Diana just one big little girl. Now go on away. You don't like? I like. All right, I. Oh, go on home and saw a button on your brazier. Go on, hurry up. Where do you think Big Shark Boss can be? You stop that. Where do you think Big Shark Boss can be? Outside. Go look for him. And tell him I said to chop your head off. Go on, hurry. All right. I go, but I come back. If you ever come back in here, I'll... Sometime you give the other kid. Say, what are you doing here, little liar, you? <laughs> big, big shark boss scare. I come see Bruce. Hey, listen. I'll not have you hanging around this office, you understand? Big shark boss, go. Now go on, get out of here. <laughs> I just gave Tiana a little spanking. Well, that should knock a little sense into her head. Uh, <laughs> How are things up the river? All fine. The Pepe got those rafts of coconuts ready. Good. Well, I got your books all straightened out. No. Yep. Showing that profit this year to date of better than 20000 You don't tell me. Oh. Well, 20000 isn't bad. Say, if I had you here all the time, I could make three times that profit. You really think so? Think so. Why, I've got ten times the work out of those natives since I've been able to keep on their necks right all the time. Pacific Queen gets in tomorrow. Too bad you're going back to Singapore. Uh, now, look, Shark, uh, when I first came down oh, here, sure, I told you that... Sure, I know. Well, must be better walk up the house. There you are. Hey, uh... I'm going to Singapore myself tomorrow. You are? Yeah, I want to collect some money that a couple of fellows owe me. You mean those notes of Blake's and Gus Noble? Yeah. And they'll pay me this time or I'll tear them apart to find out why the rats. I don't think she's so pretty. Well, who asked you? You want to see Anna feel them up? I want to see to get the devil out of here. Go on, beat it. Bruce, when we were talking this afternoon, I, I want to tell you something. What's on your mind? If you stay on here instead of going back to Singapore to drown yourself, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help making that crack. All right, go on. Well, if you stay on here, I'll make you my partner. Wait a minute. With everything 50-50. Everything 50-50. A hundred percent of you. Now get out of here. Well, old man, what do you say? You stay on? <laughs> I'd stay on just to hear you brag about how big and strong you are. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> here. Well, here's to Moran and Donaldson. <laughs> Bruce? You know, uh, I've been thinking about getting married. No! <laughs> I said, uh, thinking about it. I don't know if she'll have me. <laughs> if you could only cook, I'd marry you myself. Oh, oh, don't hand me that. I'm just an old buzzard that none of the ladies fall for. I'll bet you've got a list a mile long. Oh, sure, I get my share, but not girls like her. However, that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. Well, say, how about another drink for that new drinking time here?
still have that mob at the door every night? Oh, I'm so weary of it. No, I don't blame you. You know, the last time I was here, you mentioned someone else. Well, I never told you anything about him. But I also know you're still thinking about him. I haven't tried to hide anything from you, Shaw. Well, of course not. I'll see him out there, sitting at one of the tables, smiling at me. Every night, I, I look over all the faces, hoping that he'll be there. Yet, utterly afraid that he will. Oh, that sounds silly, doesn't it? No, oh, Marty. I understand how you feel. Do you really, Shark? Perfectly. It's like my coming up to Singapore to see you. To see me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the time I'm away, I keep thinking about you, and then when the boat docks, why, <laughs> I'm just scared stiff to meet you face to face. Oh, how silly. I know, but it's the truth. <laughs> They're ready for your number, Miss Clark. Oh, all right, King Fu. Sorry. I'll uh, run along. Oh, uh, say, Marty, how about me seeing you home tonight? You won't drink? Not a drop. All right. Oh, gee, that's swell. You give me time to dress after the action. I'll wait for you in here. Okay, I'll be here. Goodbye. Fine fellow. No like? You like somebody else? Well, uh, okay. how? Happy days. Will you quit that walking up and down? I'm having enough trouble trying to fix this book. Well, I'm nervous about Chuck. You know he's out there, don't you? Yes. Here he is now. Hello, sir. How are you, guys? Hi, it's better. Well, shark, old man. Welcome home. Yeah, welcome home. Long time no see. Yeah, and I'll just bet you two have been pining away for me. Why not? You're one of us, aren't you? Well, hardly. Sit down, Shark. Uh, Gus, uh, get the bottle and some glasses. Oh, no, no. Not for me. What? You don't mean to tell us you've reformed? Oh, uh, Just taking a little vacation. Well, that floors me. And me, too. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you think I'm not just as much surprised as you are. Huh? What's new? Oh, nothing much. Business has been pretty slow. Oh. Starving to death, huh? Well, we haven't been doing very good. Oh, stop it, Gus, will you? I'm practically in tears already. Maybe you don't believe us. Wait a minute. I'll show you. Oh, what do I care about your books? Well, now, just look here. I want to show you something. Here are our daily receipts, and here are the total expenses. Just take a glimpse at it. Ain't it a shame, and after all the hard work we put in it? Yeah. And after all the hard work you put into fixing up that book, it don't fool me one bit. Who's trying to fool you? You are. You are goofy. You're trying to tell us we are uh, under me, Gus. Yes? The last time I was here, I promised to do a little remodeling job on your face. Yes? Yes, and I haven't been sleeping so good at night lately on account of my right fist itching. Uh, wait a minute, Sheriff. Just a minute. This is strictly between Gus and myself. Yeah. Oh. So that's it, huh? <laughs> and I thought I was talking to a couple of pals. You don't think you're going to get away with anything, do you? If you say anything about that place downstairs, let your mouth. Oh. I didn't know anything about the place downstairs. If I were you, I wouldn't use it. <laughs> I don't need to. You know, the uh, New York police will be very happy to learn what became of the two men they're looking for. Where did you get that? <laughs> Funny, I just can't seem to remember. Tell you what I'll do. I'll let you two guess tonight, and tomorrow morning you'll know the answer. Okay, Shark. You win. <laughs> I can only give you five tonight. It's all we've got, Shark. What about the other five? I'll pay you that next trip. All right, give me the five. Give me the note. <laughs> Trusting little chap, aren't you? All right, there's one canceled note. 
I'll take the money, if you please. Oh, that's correct. Well, gentlemen, I'll see you again in 60 days. We'll have the money for you. Adios, me yes, amigos. You don't. Shut up. I didn't tell him about New York. I wonder who he found out. Oh, there you are, Mr. Huggins. Well, if it isn't my old pal, Miss Moran. <laughs> <laughs> Why, bless my soul, sir. You know, it's blowing about out here on deck. I suggest we go below. Oh, you know me, Mr. Huggins. Fair weather or foul. Right nice of you to say so, sir. Oh, by the way, did I ever show you how to play a game called Colonel Bump? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a couple of times, sir, Mr. Huggins. Oh, what a shame. It's such a delightful game. Once you get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, uh, I know. Oh, you know it, sir. Yes, I know it. Uh, I'll tell you what I do, Mr. Huggins. You stand right there, and I'll be back very shortly. Then you can really show me how to play Colonel Bump, see? Oh, Mr. Moran. Yes. Would it be all right if I turn about from time to time? I might want to fetch another bit. Oh, quite all right, quite all right, Mr. Huggins. Uh, turn about and about as much as you like, only uh, don't lose your bearings. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Moran. Thank you. Will you stop that? If you use your head instead of your feet, we wouldn't be in this mess now. I'm just trying to figure out what we can do now. Yeah, it's a fine time to start figuring. We're out 5,000 in cold cash, and we're going to be out 5,000 more. What good was the gun anyway? Couldn't take a chance on using it in here. He'll got us over the bottom. What's going through that mammoth brain of yours now? Hey, what's the matter with Quan? Quan? Say, that's not a bad idea. Then we could get our 5,000 back. Then the other note too. That's so. And if Shaq be able to have a chance to talk, then our skirts would be clean. Say, where is Quan? I don't know. But I think I can find out. We'll go find him. Okay. Is uh, Miss Marty ready? She's dressing. You wait, please. Oh. I'll be ready in a minute, Jock. Oh, all right. Don't hurry yourself. You come on home with us, King Fu. I go along him plenty to hate. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. No? Him nice, you like? King Fu high face like this. So, <laughs> there's no need for that, King Fu. No, not tonight. Next day, maybe. Nothing like that. Ah, uh, Quan. Do you know uh, Shark Moran? A big, uh, strong fellow? Yes, I know. Him big, strong man. Boom! Great neck. That's right. You want to make some money? Yes. Well, now get this through that thick skull of yours. Shark Moran is outside. I want you to follow him. He's got an envelope in this inside coat pocket. I want that envelope. Go on, get envelope. Okay, I play plenty. Go on. Hey, not that way. This way. I am not so dumb after all. Sorry we kept you waiting, Charlotte. Oh, I didn't mind it at all. Well, should we ride? No, let's walk. Well, whatever you say. Here you are, Shadow. Well, this is what King Fu and I call home. Oh, yeah? Well, it's a charming little place. Make yourself at home. Oh, thanks. Now, you can stay for just about five minutes, and then you've got to run along. Uh-oh. I was afraid of that. Well, five minutes is better than nothing at all. <laughs> uh, Luana, bring some sandwiches and a bottle of wine for Mr. Moran, please. Yes, miss. Well, thanks very much for the bottle of wine. Was it really terribly cruel of me? You mean uh, asking me not to drink tonight? Yes. No, <laughs> not in the least. 
In fact, I never derived more genuine enjoyment than I did from watching everyone's utter astonishment at my sudden reformation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you received some reward for the noble sacrifice. Oh, Marty, if you'd only marry me, then come away with me to the plantation. Please, Shark. You know, it isn't often I get up nervous enough to talk like this, so I've, I've got to say it once and for all. No, Shark, please don't. Why? Oh, Shark, it'll spoil everything. But why, Marty? Well, it's bound to, don't you see? I like you. Like you better than anyone I've met in Singapore. I admire you, respect you, trust you. Oh, don't let's try to find something which doesn't exist. Never, Marty? I'm afraid not, Shark. Sure. Is there anything, Lisa? No, that's all, I think. Oh, get King Fu to help you with the sandwich. Thank you. Try not to be unhappy. There are so many other girls than I. Marty, isn't it just possible that if you ever found him again, that you might change? No. I'm afraid all there is of you belongs to him. I suppose I ought to say I understand. I'm sure you do. This is he. To Claire, whom I love more than life. in the white man's court. No. Why, even if I tried to protect you, there was that man at the window. There'll be a trial, a scandal, my name in all the papers. And in the end, it will not help. Oh, Tingfu, what are we going to do? There's a boat sailing in the morning. You will go away before the police discover it. Noella, go another way. I stay. If they rip. Button down number two hatch. Hello, Captain Rogers. Oh, hello. Yeah, I've been looking all over the boat for you. Yes? Uh, where's Moran? He hasn't returned. Well, what's the matter? Uh, business detaining? No. He's not coming back. He's dead. Dead? Oh, no, Captain. You're joking. I wish I were. Well, how did it happen? 
Well, tell me, Captain. Don't keep me in suspense. I, I was his friend. I'm terribly sorry, Donaldson. Well, was it murder or... It was murder. Sit down. Yes, sir. Shock, my man was one of the whitest men on two feet. Mind you, I said on two feet. The only one of my crew that saw was Huggins, and he was always too drunk to tell us anything about him. The evidence proved that these two fellows, Noble and Blake, paid him $5,000 about an hour before he was murdered. Was the money all gone? Every red penny. And she must have taken it? <laughs> no question about it. It's just hard to believe a woman would do a thing like that. But her disappearance proves it. Beyond a doubt. But the police are hot on the trail. Oh, I hope they get her. We'll lay two for a few hours, lady, if you care to walk around the island. Oh, thank you, but I think I'll remain aboard. All right. Now, he thought she was too good for him. Uh, have you got him on the boat? The police are holding the remains. This must be his final resting place. He loved this island. I hate to be the bearer of such sad tidings. Terrible blow, Captain. Of course, you'll carry on from here? Yes, this business was Shark's pride. I, I couldn't let him down. Well, thanks again, Captain. Goodbye. Goodbye. Claire! Bruce! Where? What? How? When? Where? Of all the places to find you. Oh, darling, darling. Well, tell me, what are you doing on this boat? But first, tell me what you're doing here. Oh, I, I'm living here on this island. Oh, Claire, I can hardly believe that I found you. And all the time, I knew you were looking for me. Looking for you? Why, well, I've traveled all over the Orient. Oh, to think that all the time I was just hoping and praying, all oh, looking for you, too. And you knew that I'd severed my ties at home and set out to look for you? No. I only knew that I didn't care any longer what anybody said. I only knew that I wanted you, and I needed you. And here we are together again. I'm never going to let you out of my sight. Oh, no, Bruce. I'm... I'm going... I've got to leave the Orient. Why, dear? Oh, I'm just unhappy here. Oh, I'll tell you. Stay here a few weeks, and we'll go home together. And start our lives all over again. Oh, it, it does sound wonderful. It will be. Come on, let's tell Captain Rogers you're staying. Ah, three bottles. You're very hospitable. Well, that's good. Now, this is how you do it. Now, what's me? Uh, is it full? Uh, well, here we go. Here's sheer... Big Shark, this place belongs to Diana and Bruce. She go away quick. Oh, hello, Bruce. Oh. You got house for you. Why you come here? Diana, tomorrow I'm going to send you away. I and Blazer Shark kept you around here more than I know. Run along now.
When I uh, mentioned Moran a moment ago, you seemed excited. Did you know him? Well, I met him in Singapore. First a mutual friend. Did you uh, know that he was uh, uh, murdered? I heard something about it just before I left. He was really very charming, what little I saw of him. Best friend that ever lived. He picked me up when I was down and out. He gave me a job. And just before he left for his last trip to Singapore, he, he made me his partner. You must have been very fond of him. So much so, I, I'll never rest until that girl is brought to justice. If you don't mind, I... I think I'll go over to my own place. Oh, but I, I'll see you all. No. I'll go along with And you two gentlemen came all the way from Singapore to pay that second note? Well, oh, not exactly. No, not exactly. You see, we were making a trip through the islands and thought we might as well pay it as long as we had the money. Oh, I see. We kind of figured the uh, shark was a little worried about the money and... Uh, uh, you were pretty good friends of his. Very good friends. When we learned that that dame had killed him, we were pretty well broken up. I'll say, when she was working with us... Well, haven't the police heard anything of her? Not their lie. She even has a cinema postcard. Well, Mr. Donaldson, if you'll give us that note, we'll pay you off. All right, gentlemen. Oh, hello, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were busy. Well, that's quite all right. Come on in. Uh, Mr. Noble and Mr. Blake, I want you to meet my fiancée, Miss Martineau. I'm, uh, uh, Miss, uh, I didn't get the name. Uh, Miss Martineau. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Well, I'm sorry, the note's in the safe at the house. I'll have to bring it down the first thing in the morning. Oh, that'll be okay, Mr. Donaldson. Sit down, dear. Oh, well, if you don't mind, I think I'll run along. I, I didn't know you were busy. Oh, uh, we're going right away. Oh, Martineau. Don't hurry on my account. I'll see you at the house, dear. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm. Well, what time shall we be here in the morning, Mr. Donaldson? Well, I'm here at 8. 8 it'll be. Okay. There she goes. Can you imagine running into her down here? What could be sweeter? What do you mean? This plays right into our hands. Come on, we'll follow her. Pardon me, Marty. Uh, perhaps. I should have said Miss Clark. You are Miss Clark, aren't you? Sure, it's Miss Clark. I'd know her anywhere. Well, what do you want? Oh, we just wanted to have a little friendly talk, you know, to find out how you're getting along. Just a friendly little chat. How about uh, inviting us inside? We'll talk here. These native police are pretty tough babies to get along with. All right. Come on. Mm. Cozy little place you have here, Marty. 
It's funny the police looking for you in Malacca, and here you are way down here in Lombok. Tell me what you two are doing here. Well, we were just taking a little trip and dropped in here to uh, pay off a note. We owed Moran. We had no idea we'd run into you. Well, come to the point. I haven't anything to hide. No? Well, what are you doing down here? Why, you heard Donaldson tell you she was his fiancée. By the way, congratulations, Marty. I didn't have anything to do with the murder of Mr. Moran. Now, you can believe that or not. We believe it. But can you prove it to the authorities? Let me tell you something, Marty. When the police get their hands on you, you're guilty until you prove yourself innocent. And the more innocent you are, the giddier they make you look. And you ran away, so what does that make you? Oh, I've heard enough of your threats. And now I'm going to ask you to leave. Go on. Tell Donaldson. Tell the police you saw me here. You can do anything you like. No, now, don't excite yourself, Marty. We'll make a little bargain with you. Nobody will ever know we saw you. You can stay here the rest of your life. Think of all the Billy and Queen you can do in a lifetime. All right. Tell me what you want me to do. Would it sooner or later? I'll do anything. Good for you. Now, Moran had a note of ours. Your boyfriend has it in a safe. And what we want you to do is to get that note for us. But how? Well, that's for you to work out. You think she's fine. You think she's better than Diana. I'll tell you something. She won devil. What have I told you about coming here? You tell me keep away. Send me home up river. All the time she fool you. What are you raving about? Come on, get it over with. I get this soldier. So no men in her hut. I go to window. Listen long time. I hear what they say. What two men are you talking about? Either one man got other man. Get out. Get out. I don't want to see your dirty little face around here again. She, Marty Clark. She, she, big shot boss. What was that you said? She, Marty Clark. She, she, big shot boss. Why, you? I think she's crazy for you. Get out. I was surprised that Blake and Noble would come down here, especially so soon after Shark's death. Were they friends of his? Business acquaintances. They're the man who paid him the money the Clark woman stole. But is there any proof that she actually got that money? I mean, isn't it just possible that maybe she was the innocent victim? Not a chance. Personally, I feel uh, hand in glove with those two gangsters. Well, now, uh, suppose Blake and Noble pay him the $5,000. Then they had her make up to him so they could take it away from him again. So Shark takes her home. She or they try to rob him. Shark puts up a fight. But why should she? Well, a woman like her is quite capable of doing so. Ever since I came here, I've heard nothing but Marty Clark. Shark Moran and murder. Sometimes I feel as if I'm going mad. Oh, I, I'm so sorry, darling. I didn't mean to be such a bore. I, I shouldn't have let myself go like that. No, it was all my fault. Of course not. Don't be absurd. Bruce. Yes, Claire? Oh, I know I'm acting terribly silly. Only I feel as way down here as if maybe something might rob us of our happiness. Well, you don't mean you've changed your mind about our marriage. Oh, no, dear. Good. Now, you run on and have your coffee. I must go in and get a note out of the safe for Blake and Nope. Oh, please don't, Bruce. But I promised it to them in the morning. Don't take it out. 
Claire. You have something on your mind. You've been trying to tell me all evening. What is it? I have. I've been wanting to tell you ever since that night we met on the boat. Only I couldn't. Well, when I discovered how much you loved sharks, I thought you might hate me. I thought you might not believe me. I'm Marty Clark. I know. I somehow suspected it ever since the day you came here. Something about the way you acted when you discovered this was Shark's plantation. Today I got the proof. And all the time you thought that, that I killed him? Well, I tried not to think about it. I, I just waited and hoped that someday you'd tell me everything. Oh, my dear. My dear. Claire. Did you do it? No. Well, that's all I wanted to hear you say. He took me home that night, and he asked me to marry him. I told him it was impossible because of my love for you. I was showing him your picture. He got very angry, and he grabbed it. He started to take it. What are you so nervous about? I'm not mad about something. I wish this thing was over with. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Worst comes to worst. Quan is just outside. Yes, I know. That must be her now. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Put up your hands. So, she double-crossed us after all. Looks more like a double-crossed yourself. Come on, put them up. Turn around there and put your guns on the table. Hurry up. Thanks for the gun, boys. I didn't bring mine. Just what do you think you're going to do now? I'm going to hold you for the Singapore police. Yes. <laughs> Let him go. They can't get off the island. Bruce! That's the man I saw. Oh, forget the man, huh? I know him. Who am I still? I window. Yeah, now we're getting someplace. Is that right? Yes. Poor Luana. He only did it to protect me. He thought that maybe Moran might hurt me. Well, don't worry, dear. Well, that clears you. Come on with me. Come on, dear. Now that you've seen Lombard both ways, which do you prefer, married or single? You mean the island married or single? No, darling, you. Well, with you as my husband, I think we prefer it this way. 